Good morning, everyone. Welcome in Cannes. My name is Alain Ovar, broker at Fraser Yacht in Monaco. Today, I'm going to present you Envilogy 96 footer Tridec from Extra Yacht. Please follow me. The aft deck offers a nice chilling area. Directly connected with the swimming platform, those railings can be removed. Two seabobs are located on each side of the boat. The swimming platform can drop down to the water level and can support a tender. As we're going into the salon, we have the staircase access to the upper deck, a wet bar with a sink and the fridge. Please follow me. We are now in the main salon, interior designed by Hot Lab, large bay windows that gives a natural light inside the boat, loose furniture, U-shaped coach by Polyform. Pop-up TV. Going forward, access to a pantry. We are now in a lobby that gives access to the lower deck, upper deck, the sliding door giving access to the starboard sideway. A day ahead, let's go now to visit the master stateroom. Entering the master stateroom, on port side, a makeup table for madame. In the center, a working wardrobe. On the starboard side, an office and desk for monsieur. Going forward, we're entering the full beam master stateroom. Big bay windows that gives natural light. We have a lot of volume. Sitting area on port side, sitting area on starboard side. Closet on port side for her, closet on starboard side for him. Large TV screen, entertainment system managed by iPad. Going down two stairs, we access to the full beam bathroom with the eating floor. We are now back in the lobby. Let's go on the lower deck. We are now on the lower deck that fit four cabins. Down the stairs, we have two twin stateroom. Ensuite, with TV. And symmetrical. On the half part of the lower deck, we have two VIP staterooms equipped with double bed. TV. Symmetrical and ensuite. Please follow me, we go to discover the rest of the boat. Now let's go to the upper deck, right this way. We are now on the upper deck, with access to the sun deck here, yeah? main dining room, bridge on the front, and galley access just behind me. We are now in the main dining area. 
with a table that can host up to 10 people. We have two sliding doors on each side of the boat, giving access to the sideway. You can walk all around the vessel. Something interesting, a sliding down window, yeah, that connects directly to the dining room with the aft deck. On the galley side, the window can slide down. Now, follow me, we're going to visit the upper aft deck. We are now on the upper deck aft with a nice chilling area. These are loose furniture that can be removed to be converted in a dining room for the exterior. A bar here with a sliding down window can connect directly with the dining room. TV screen, staircase giving access to the main half deck and on the two sides that connect the foredeck. Let's go on the foredeck. Welcome on the foredeck with a big sand bed area, tender garage with a launching crane just underneath. The garage on the bow hosts a 395 Williams jet tender and its launching crane. We are now in the bridge of the motor yacht Anvilugi and we will meet the Captain Antonino. Captain, Thank you to welcome us on board. Could you tell us something about uh, Anvilugi, cruising, consumption? Yes. Hi, Alain. Thank you. So, uh, motor yacht Anvilugi uh, is powered by Volvo Penta engines with uh, uh, three units of uh, 1350 hitch. We have uh, a maximum speed of 17 knots with a, a cruising speed of 12.5 knots. Uh, with a, a tank of 13,000 liters of fuel, we can reach uh, um, a range of uh, uh, 1,500 nautical miles. What about the bridge? She looks, it looks very clean and neat. Can you tell us more about the instruments? Yes, um, we provide by Garmin instruments that are really uh, nice and uh, uh, easy to use. I mean, we can switch with the three displays. Uh, you can use uh, whatever you want, uh, radar, uh, chart, plotter or uh, uh, domotics. Okay, and uh, could you tell us also how does she behave at sea? Easy to maneuver, stability? Yeah, the boat is really, really easy to use uh, about uh, the IPS uh, system. You have the joystick on the bridge and also you have uh, on both sides uh, the wings uh, provided by the joystick. Same that uh, uh, easy to use the, the maneuvering, uh, really. Is she stabilized? Yes, also the boat is provided by the CMC electrical uh, uh, stabilizers, fins, and also uh, the boat has uh, a Sea Keeper 35 uh, uh, gyro stabilizer that it's really nice uh, to use at anchor for uh, uh, sti um, stabilizing. So, okay. Captain Antonino, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, it was my pleasure. Let's continue the visit. Behind the bridge, the galley, fully equipped meal, cooktop, oven, frigomar fridge, deep freezer, big storage, wine cooler, and the door to access at the exterior. And now, please follow me to the sand deck. We are now on the sand deck. Nice place to chill out, very cozy. You can lay down, you can sit down a table, you can enjoy a light dinner at sea while cruising. You can stay in the sun, you are protected by a sun awning if you want. Wet bar, grill, everything you need to enjoy. And now let's have a look at the crew area.
as we saw at the beginning of the video, we are now in a main deck pantry, equipped with meal oven, big storage, freezer, deep freezer, another wine cooler. The pantry is also accessible from the sideway via a sliding door. And here there is a connection stairs to the crew area. We are now in a crew area. Crew mess, monitor, TV, one, two, three crew cabin, laundry behind me. Engine room access is located main deck port side. All technical equipment are in the engine room almost. The engines, two generators, sea keeper, air conditioning on port side, water maker, water treatment on starboard side, and behind me, electrical panel. I hope you enjoyed the tour on board on VUG. Should you need more information, please contact me, Alain Ovar at Fraser. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.